Yeah, we've got a, um, a three-day entrepreneur school running here at BioCity and we have uh, 28 delegates who have come from, um, from across the country, but primarily from the East Midlands and from around Nottingham. Um, University-based academics, but also some people who have just started um, in business. And they're all here because they're looking to commercialize some science or technology that they're working on. Uh, they are very intelligent people. We have a majority of people who actually got PhDs, but they are very uh, knowledgeable on a particular, in a particular field. And it's, I think it's a myth to assume that people who know a lot about a particular field will also therefore um, be able to understand how a business operates. And we find uh, time and time again that particularly people who come out of university who have been in academic life for, for all their life really, um, who start a business, lack a lot of those, those managerial and entrepreneurial skills that, uh, that they can pick up at this school. I'm a senior healthcare research scientist. I, I'm part of a, a breast cancer research team at the Queen's Medical Centre in Nottingham. Also trying to develop a, a panel in order to, to help uh, determine the prognosis of patients with breast cancer and also their response to treatments. Yes, we, we've established that we want to really try and develop a, a commercial company to commercialise our research. Well, we feel that there's a, it's a natural extension of what we've been doing, really. I think, I think it's necessary, with us being scientists, we've not necessarily got the background, the professional business background, and uh, we're, we're trying to limit any mistakes and try and make the, the course as less painful as possible, least painful as possible. T today was really useful. I found it um, very interesting. I found it informative. It, it covered a lot of the, the areas that maybe we hadn't got so much experience on. And um, it, it certainly given us a lot of food for thought. Scientists do suffer with uh, a bit of a, shall we say, a restrictive uh, way that they deal with people and they, they get very uh, into their own work, uh, introspective. But I think the reality these days is far from it. You know, it's good to get into the community and to, to spread the word, essentially, about what you're doing. Um, I'm, I'm here on this course today to, to learn more about business. Uh, I'm finding it very satisfying. I, I've got this uh, interest in taking our research to the next level, essentially. Propositions, but it's no good being the best kept secret in the world. You have a job to do three cells. You have three cells to make. I'm here tonight to be ambushed, if you like, uh, to be part of the reception Q&A panel where there are apparently questions from the floor on whichever topics the attendees decide they would like to um, snipe regarding, I guess. And there are three of us on the panel from quite dispersed industries and um, I guess we hope that we can give something back to um, these guys with these brand new ideas that they're taking forward. Ah, I think it's definitely a little bit scary. Obviously, depending quite how far ahead you are with your business idea, um, these events can either be a little bit daunting or very exciting. If somebody's got a brand new idea they want to take forward, um, this is actually part of the, the first stage process to getting a decent business, getting commercialization and uh, going out there. The Bio Entrepreneur School is something that Pegasus didn't have. When we came to BioCity in 2004, <clears throat> we were in the position where there were support mechanisms around the East Midlands, but they, were, they seemed to be perhaps a little disjointed. They seemed to be quite separate things. The Bio Entrepreneur School, I think, brings a lot of different skills and a lot of different people with a lot of contacts all together in the same place and gives people perhaps that initial help to kickstart them. Um, what would be lovely to see is perhaps a series of follow-on events that um, progress from the school eventually. I think it's a question of commercialization. It's a question of you may have a superb idea, but how do you sell that idea and who do you sell it to? 
And whilst you might know a little bit or indeed a lot about mo both of those categories, how do you actually get out to the people that you need to get out to? And sometimes it's all about who you know, not what you know. And whereas some people perhaps from universities may be very well connected and have immediate customers to go to, at the other end of the spectrum, <clears throat> you've maybe got companies a bit like Pegasus who start out with something that everyone says is perhaps a great idea, innovative, new, um, great amount of market share that you can capitalize on, but you do need perhaps the right contacts in the right place at the right time to take advantage of that. And I think that's very much the difference.